Oh, you see that shit? I got an intro now. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Life Lessons with Juvie, uh, episode five, uh, four, episode four, five. I don't know. Either way, <laughs> welcome to it. I'm your host, Juvie the Kid, coming from 705 Barry area, as always. Uh, thank you to everybody who submitted topics, shared the videos, liked the videos, subscribed to the channel. Uh, if you haven't done that, do that now. It's a little button right around here or over here. I don't know. Somewhere around here, click the button. <laughs> and uh, yeah, just recently I put up something called a, a Poet's Thoughts. It's a, it's a poetry piece. If you could go watch that, share it, everything, let me know. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, all right, we're going to get right into it. Uh, low underscore and underscore underscore slow. That was fun to say. Good name change. Uh, doing whatever it takes to make sure your bills get paid and not always in a good way. Uh, if you, okay. If you got to dance on a stage, maybe there's a pole there. I understand, you know, you make good money and not a lot of other jobs are going to make you that kind of money, whatever. Just be careful. If you got to sell some weed, make sure it's to adults because selling it to kids is some bullshit. But, you know, just be careful. Uh, if you got to work a nine to five and do all that, then do that. But if you can't, if you can't find work or get a job or anything, then I totally understand having to like sell some weed or like, you know, do some other shit. I've been in that situation. Uh, you know what I mean? But you got to make sure that you got food for yourself. And if you have kids, you got to make sure that they're provided for too. Just if you have to do something more on the shady or like a legal side, whatever, you just got to make sure you're going to be careful. You know what's on the line. You know the consequences. Um, and just be careful with it. And like try and don't, and if it involves hurting anybody, don't fucking do it. Because that's not gonna that's not gonna make or help you benefit anything or progress anything. Because the guilt is gonna kill you even worse guaranteed unless you're like just a straight piece of shit then that's different i guess but yeah dude i don't know do what you gotta do to get your bills paid just don't be fucking hurting people or robbing people that have like less than you you know uh all right <laughs> boba underscore chop uh what's going on <laughs> treating people like they are less than you simply because they don't have a nice car or home oh I hate these people. I fucking hate them. Okay, so, because you have a really nice car and a really nice house, that immediately makes you this great person and you're better than everyone else? Definitely fucking not. <laughs> like, honestly, if you, just because you have a nice car or a nicer car than someone else or whatever and you think that makes you better, that makes you worse. That makes you a shit person. 100%. You're materialistic. Who gives a shit? Okay, like if you if you base your value in life as a person on the materials that you have, then what are you gonna do when someone you know doesn't like the way you're looking at them or doesn't like your snobby bullshit ass attitude and comes and smashes your car up or puts a couple bricks through your window? Yeah, you can call the cops. That's whatever. But your fucking your whole little circle of what you base your life around has just been fucked up and got smashed. And now you, your car, isn't any better than the bullshit ass ones you see ditched under a bridge somewhere. Like, the you could have a million dollars in the bank, but not have a really nice car, or not have a mansion. Like, fuck, I'd still be kicking it in like a, just a nice, like a kinda nice house, you know, or a nice apartment, but I'd still be dragging my ass to Harvey's and everything to grab a burger or whatever. Like, don't fucking turn around and try and act like you're better than anybody because you have something that's nicer than them. You have no idea what that person actually has or what that person's been through. It's, yeah, sure, if you went through a struggle and you actually put that hard work in to have a nice car, I'm not talking about you unless you're one of the people, I don't care if you worked up to have that, if you turn around and you're a snob to other people just because of that, fuck you. Appreciate everybody's struggle. Like, don't be a piece of shit because you've got a nice-ass car. It ain't nothing for a fucking window to get busted open, and then all your little pretty baby is fucking shattered. And you're crying like a little girl with a fucking skinned knee. I'm just saying. Fuck off with all the materialistic attitudes, you know what I'm saying? Like, nobody's better than anyone just because you got some nice shit. 
or nicer than them or whatever. Like, it means you're a piece of shit if you think you, your materials make you a better person. Straight up. <laughs> Hamill underscore fat, my mando, bro. <laughs> Heroes and favorite TV shows and movies. Uh, oh, okay, so I got three from them, so I'm going to go one at a time on these. Heroes and favorite TV shows or movies. Uh, Heroes. Uh, growing up, like, well, okay, I'm not gonna say, like, obviously, like, Batman and stuff like that, but, like, that's, uh, fictional, <laughs> but, um, in real life, Heroes, uh, let me see, uh, Charles Bronson, uh, Mickey Peterson, if you're not familiar, uh, who else? Who else? And uh, the the reason he's... I know some people only have seen the movie on Netflix or whatever. Go and read Charles... Well, now he's known as Charles Salvador. Uh, but go and read his books and everything. And you will appreciate more of this, like... The man's life and it, everything that's kind of going on and everything. Like, the, the movie depicts it in a very different, more dramatized way, for sure. Uh... But yeah, it, he's one of my heroes because it doesn't matter what the con, like, or not consequence, whatever the situation is and the odds that are stacked against him, he still keeps going and he still goes after these passions and whatever he loves, his artwork, whatever. So yeah, it, definitely, uh, that he's one of them. Um, Salvador Dali because he was such an, an eccentric character and he just didn't care what other people thought, you know, he was going to be himself and he didn't, that was it, you know. Uh, who else? Hmm. Uh, I think that's about it that all I can think of right now for heroes. Just, uh, oh, well, Nikki Six for sure. Just because if you read the Heroin Diaries, it's an amazing book. I connected to it because that was me uh, for a long time. I was addicted to cocaine, heroin, uh, pills, just pretty much anything because I just wanted just to be very fucking high. And it would get to points where I was horribly paranoid and hiding in closets and shit and like kicking everybody out of my house or whatever and yeah he just he made it all, all out of that and if anything used like his music and stuff like that and like whatever to actually go like and kind of like portray pictures and stuff like that through music about his addiction and everything and uh his photography uh if you get to read his, his other book this is gonna hurt his photography is amazing, and his outlook of people in the world is absolutely beautiful. So, he's definitely a hero of mine, 100%. Uh, little Jenny Wren. Phobias. Okay. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Hold on. Hamill Fett, you got another one. <laughs> Favorite TV shows and movies. Uh, okay, Batman animated series. Uh, I love The Dark Knight Rises of the Dark Knight Trilogy. That's my favorite. Uh... The Rambo movies, amazing fucking movies. Uh, TV shows, oh, what was that one? Raising Hope, that's hilarious. American Dad, Family Guy. Uh, there was another one I used to watch too. It had Patrick Warburton on it. And uh, oh, I can't remember. And David Spade was on it too. Ah, I can't remember the name. But uh, movies, American History X, it's a great movie, great story. Um... What else? Not into Deca like DiCaprio or anything, so I'm not going to be naming any of those movies. <laughs> um, I don't know. I can't really think of any more right now for some reason. <laughs> uh, defining moments in your life. Uh, well, I guess I talked about one is definitely uh, my addiction. Um, overdosing a couple of times and, you know, dying kind of makes you think about shit different. <laughs> um... One of the main defining moments of my life, I think, was uh, I went to an alternative school in Barrie uh, to finish up a couple high school credits and everything. And I met a teacher there who really like educated me more on addiction and everything like that, and more of the like physical and like psychological changes that happen with it. And uh, during like for class and everything, in the one day. She wanted us to do a quick presentation of brain like about two different brain chemicals, acetylcholine and dopamine. So I was like, okay, well, if you want, I could just write a rap verse, you know, being a cocky young rapper like I was. So, and she said, yeah, go for it. And immediately I was like, 
fuck. But I ended up doing it. I wrote two successful verses with all the information, everything. And after that, it, I got to do, that's how I got to present all of my classwork. And it made me, it helped me remember everything so much better too. So I got to, because of her, you know, I got to learn so much about like problems in the ocean and I got to do a song about that, Somalian pirates, uh, what, brain chemicals. Um, and she actually, when I was just turning 19 or I was turned 19, I can't quite remember, but, um, she actually drove me to detox to help me get, you know, sober and everything. Um, it was awesome. I, I love her to death. She's, I still, we're still in contact to this day. She's a beautiful person. Stacy, if you ever see this, you already know everything I do. A lot of this shit is because of you. Thank you very much, miss. <laughs> uh, forks in your road that made you who you have become. We'll get off addictions. Fuck all that. We get, we get it. I made it through it. We good. <laughs> uh, defining moments on, or forks in the road. Um, whew. There were times where I definitely did m more for my friends and people who were around me to make sure, like, you know, they were good and they were okay and didn't really focus on me. And I saw that that was taking a toll on me. So I hit a point where I, I just said, fuck it, I gotta be selfish for a while. And not like selfish where like I just didn't care about them at all or whatever. It's just like, you know, I had, to I had to go and deal with everything with me. And I realized I was holding a lot of stuff in, you know. Um, my dad left when I was 13. We didn't talk for a long, long time. Uh, the only reason we did talk, again, was because his girlfriend, like back in the day, his girlfriend kind of found my MySpace page or whatever. And we talked quick on the phone that night. That was about it. And uh, I just, like, every, like, things like that just, uh, it, it definitely showed me, you know, the kind of person I didn't want to be. Um, I didn't want to be the person, like, obviously, who wasn't there for his kids. My kids mean everything to me, for sure. Uh, I just, I didn't want to be a negative person. And I didn't want to be the, but I didn't want to be the person who would put everybody else ahead of himself at risk of himself you know what I mean uh, you can help people with their problems 100% and be a good friend but eventually like, you still have to deal with your own stuff and if you don't you'll realize like you've been holding on to a lot of things because you haven't dealt with it for me it was you know my dad leaving when I was 13 and us talking quick on the phone like to this day you know we do kind of talk here and there but it, you know it's nothing like big or crazy, uh, but, yeah, it's like, stuff, little stuff like that, um, my nan definitely taught me a lot growing up about respect, uh, little, little old Scottish lady, a little firecracker, I, uh, I love her to death, but, uh, she passed away in December, and that changed me for sure, uh, I definitely have noticed, like, how short life really is, and just, like, how, quick time can fly and uh yeah you got to take hold of every opportunity you can whether you're scared or not you got to take that chance um and it doesn't matter what happened in your past or who left you in your past you know you can't turn around and be that person and do those actions to somebody else you know and uh you can't you can't put everybody else ahead of you sorry but oh, close the window kids screaming outside <laughs> but uh you can't put everybody else ahead of you. You gotta make sure you deal with yourself too. If you don't have self awareness as a, like as a person, and know how you're feeling and how you, your body's working and everything, then you're not going to be able to accomplish a lot. So yeah, for sure, it's uh, I don't know. I le I've learned a lot of lessons in life, and it was definitely <coughs> excuse me. Uh, my dad leaving was definitely obviously one of them. Um, I've had a lot of friends kind of fuck me over 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 the years and that's shown me you know you got to keep your circle small you can't have all the like a, try and have like all the friends in the world you know what I mean uh, yeah <laughs> that's about it for that one uh, I'm really sorry if any of that was unclear I guess like I don't know I'm sorry 
Hope you guys enjoy this. <laughs> okay, little Jenny Run, we're on to you. Uh, phobias. Okay, when I was first going to talk about this, I was kind of confused because I don't, like, I'm not afraid of bugs or heights. But I did figure it out. I wouldn't call this a phobia. I just don't like them, okay? Magicians. What they do is unnatural, okay? They're, they're tapped into some weird black arts or something. We don't know what the fuck they're doing. Like, you can't just throw a whole deck of cards and my card that I picked is on the window and think I'm going to be okay with you and, like, buy you a beer or something. Fuck no. You're working for the devil or something. I don't know. But, no, I don't like magicians. They're, they're not natural. They're just fuck them. <laughs> um, I am. This is a phobia. Okay, if I ever see a flock of seagulls, not the 80s band, but if I ever see a group of those dirty birds... I will duck and weave like a champion boxer is trying to swing, like take my head off. <laughs> like I will fucking break an Olympic record sprinting under a roof. It's just ah, oh, like even if it's one, even if it's just one seagull flying overhead, I just I I imagine a like poo or whatever hitting me, and that that's a wrap on your day. Some people are like, oh, it's considered lucky. Bullshit. You get pooped on. You got pooped on. That's it. That's all there is to that day. <laughs> uh, I'm terrified of it. I don't like seagulls. They're dirty little fucks. <sighs> and they plot against you. I swear. They pl like You start going one way or whatever and they'll start flying around kind of like focusing on you. Fuck that. Um, <laughs> mountains. Mountains and the ocean. Okay. People need to stay away from them. It's not our fucking habitat. Okay. Don't fuck with the oceans, okay? The sharks, octopus, giant squid, bunch of shit we don't even know that's down there. Leave it alone. It's not our shit. Mountains, fucking avalanches, fucking frozen to death on the side of it. Okay, Mount Everest, very popular thing to try and climb. There is more than 200 frozen dead bodies just lining the fucking trails of this place. You could just lay down, try and take a nap, recharge the batteries, you know what I mean? Next thing you know, you're a goddamn creamsicle. No. Stay away from the mountains, stay out of the oceans. It's not for us, okay? It's not our fucking habitats. Leave them alone. I don't like magicians, they're just unfucking natural. I'm terrified of seagulls, or a group of seagulls, and mountains and oceans. S just stay where you're supposed to be. That's all there is to it. <laughs> oh, I hate them. Fucking seagulls. Dirty bitches. Uh, <laughs> inked underscore and underscore employed. My stash, bro. <laughs> oh, Super Stash Bros? What? That was a perfect nickname. If you don't know what Super Smash Bros is, then you won't understand Super Stash Bros, and you need to live life better. Uh, <laughs> goals. What do you feel gives you purpose to keep going? The reasons behind failed youth? What type of things do you find inspiration in? Oh, that's a great question. Um, goals. Uh, definitely want, you know, if... I guess, like, one of my main goals is for, like, if somebody just stumbles across these, like, any of these episodes, there's something in them that, you know, they can connect to, and that helps them out of a situation in life. You know what I mean? Uh... What other goals? I want to have an awesome beard. I like when I'm older. That's a goal. Uh, <laughs> um, oh, uh, short-term goals. I don't care how materialistic this is, but whatever. Um, I definitely want to uh, collect more oddities and uh, taxidermy things. Um, I love I love the wet samples. You know, it'll be like a preserved snake in a jar like I do have. Uh, I, I love all of those type of things. Um, I want to collect more Freddy Krueger or Night Run Elm Street. The originals. The originals. Uh, <laughs> I want to collect those and more Spawn figures for my collection. Just because, okay, I know, I understand a lot of people collect or will buy figures or whatever and keep them in the box because of the value. Okay. I don't buy them because of the value. I'm not going to resell them, so I don't care. The figure itself, it's going to stay in amazing condition. Direct sunlight, none of that shit's going to ever hit it. But, 
I am going to have it set up in a way that I can look at it and enjoy it. Such as Boba Fett or, you know, my Mortal Kombat guys you've seen on previous episodes on this channel. Go watch them if you haven't. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, collect more, a couple cool things. Uh, somebody can get helped out of a hard situation by any of these videos or ones from Instagram or whatever. Uh, what do you feel gives you purpose to keep going? You guys! And, like, obviously, well, obviously my kids and everything, but, like, you guys, you guys are fucking awesome. Like, you're sending in topics, like, you give me feedback, and honestly, a lot of you guys have shared your personal stories with me, and a lot of them, honestly, have choked me up and given me tears. You've made a bearded man tear up, people. You're amazing. Um, if you guys, if you guys didn't watch these and, you know, give me feedback, and it, there'd be no point in doing this. Um, I wasn't even sure if I wanted to do, like, if... If I wanted to keep going with this, because I wasn't sure how it was gonna go, and then you, <clears throat> excuse me, and then you guys, it's just like, I don't know if you guys picked up on that or what, but I don't know. It's just like everything just started coming at me, and you guys were just fucking, just gang beating me with your awesomeness and your fucking appreciations and everything, and so yeah, it's you guys. You guys are fucking awesome. <laughs> uh, reasons behind failed youth. Okay, well, I don't know, if you guys haven't seen the, didn't get to catch the live episode, um, I, get, I explained, or I think it was on the live episode, I don't know, but uh, I explained that Failed Youth is uh, me and my homie Brandon Soper, uh, follow him on Instagram, uh, C1T1ZENS, Citizens, that's the motherfucking squad, um, but yeah, um, me and him own and run Failed Youth Clothing. Uh, get yo shit. See that round logo? FailedYouthClothing.com, bitch. But, um, me and him run it, and the reasons behind it is, uh, we kind of, we bought, we bought the company from its original owner and everything. At first, we bought, we were partners with him. And, uh, just kind of recently or whatever, uh, at this time, in the future, I don't know when you guys will see this, but at this time, you know, kind of recently, uh, within the past couple months, we just, we took over the company just because of mutual things and like, you know, different ventures or whatever. There's no hard feelings or anything like that. But, um, yeah, no, we ended up owning and running the company now. And the reasons behind it now for us is, you know, we want to give people something that they can wear and they stand out. You know, they, they can see somebody else in the mall that's wearing a failed youth shirt and they know that that dude is going to be like-minded or that that person or that girl is like, you know, going to be about, <coughs> excuse me, you know, about the tattoo culture or something. So you guys can like engage in conversation or something like that. Um, we want to give you guys something that you can rock and stand out, but also something that you guys from all over the place can connect with. Uh, we've had people ha rocking it in California and New Zealand uh, fuck, Michigan, Alabama, Canada, obviously, but, um, it's amazing, you know what I mean, and it's awesome because failed youth is, you know, we weren't, we weren't the kids you saw, like, posing for, like, fucking, you know, class choir pictures or whatever, you know, we weren't trying to fucking wear the newest polo shirts, we were the kids that were fucking lighting off bottle rockets and shit at recess and you know we couldn't wait to get our first tattoo you know we were we are society's failed youth we didn't fit into this little mold that they wanted so in their eyes we've failed but fuck them because we going <laughs> but uh yeah what else uh what type of things do you find inspiration in uh very good question uh horror movies i love horror movies um, uh, anything with like kind of darkness and like demons kind of stuff like that. Uh, I really like that. Uh, crows. I love crows. I believe they, you know, kind of carry other souls and everything. And that's not because of the movies, although the Brandon Lee movie and all the other ones were amazing in my opinion. But, um, different things like, you know, my kids give me inspiration with things. My, like my good homies give me inspiration um, I might see something from like Batman or Star Wars or something that I, and I just, um, immediately I want to try that out or like try something to incorporate that. 
uh, yeah, I guess that's about it. That's all I think of, at least. Uh, yeah, weird, sh like weird shit, like carnival, like sideshow kind of stuff. I love the, I love that. Um, oddities and taxidermy and stuff like that for sure. <laughs> um, populate. Oh, sorry, Hamel underscore Fet. Oh, he's sneaking another one. <laughs> Population control. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Was AIDS created? I don't know, man. I wasn't in the labs. I wasn't even around. Um, population control? If, okay, if there's population control, they should probably think about implementing it just a little bit more. Because as far, like I watch, I watch a lot of the news and like different outlets, so because I know a lot of channels are biased and shit. But uh, yeah, honestly. Half the shit, like half the countries or whatever, a lot of the places in the world are still fucked. And it's, it, they say it's because of population or whatever, but they should probably into implement it to where it's actually going to be like a benefiting factor. Because until that really happens, I can't really see like population control being like a more like concrete and valid theory. You know what I mean? Um, fuck, half the, there's tons of places that have overcrowding. Where's the population control to cut some of that shit down? <laughs> was AIDS created? If it was, I don't know. I really don't know. I don't, I'm not really sure Like, if somebody did create it, it could have been by an accident. You never know. <laughs> uh, chemtrails from planes. Yeah, that shit's kind of weird. And honestly, I don't know. Like, a lot of the stuff I... From what I've read and everything, they're, if they're trying to control the weather or like add certain things, if they're trying to get more rain, a lot of the time, we barely get fucking rain where I live, so they should probably add a little bit more, but maybe f find some herbal stuff maybe to put in the atmosphere so it's not all fucky, but uh, I don't know, any, I've heard some people say that it's like mind control, man, fuck off, honestly, okay, sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but no. Chemtrails from up in the sky are not going to mind control any of us. It's uh, it's not going to happen, people. And if it if you think it is, maybe you should get a tinfoil hat or something. Or a lead umbrella to protect you. Because then you'll be okay. Or at least a gas mask. Because then it'd be airborne. I'm not sure. Ah, But then here's where it all flips. Because then this is where you guys get to be like, oh, well, of course. <laughs> okay, so. Bigfoot, Loch Ness, Skunk Apes. I'm not 100% sure what a skunk ape is. I've uh, never really heard that too much. Here's my theories on Nessie. You don't know if it's not down there. I, I believe it is. Or it could have been. I don't know if it still is or a species of it is. But uh, we don't know. It could be down. It could be like a more deep water dwelling or it could have moved somewhere else who knows uh bigfoot to say that there is there couldn't when you think of like crocodiles sharks a lot of lizards to say that there wouldn't be some sort of uh ape-like or neanderthal type creature that may not have evolved that much over the years either it's i think that's a little ignorant just because, you know, there's tons of evidence of a lot of things that haven't evolved over the years. So, it is very likely that a Neanderthal or ape-like creature, I'm guessing that might be what a skunk ape is or something. But but the big, like Bigfoot, Sasquatch, whatever. It, it makes a lot of sense to me, at least, that it could have been. Just, it didn't evolve over the years. Um, it's been all over the world, different types. You know, it's not like, you know... Russia and Siberia or whatever saying they're seeing like big brown ones. They're saying they would see like more white ones or whatever. They could see brown. Who knows? But uh, yeah, I believe in Bigfoot. Nessie, who knows? Who knows? Skunk apes, I'm not 100% sure what those are. So I apologize for that. S <laughs> Sorry, dude, just throwing random stuff out there. Yeah, well, I hope I answered some of it as best to my ability, sir. <laughs> Oh, sip of my coffee. Oh, well, we broke the record for longest episode. There was a comment in here for hour-long episodes. You guys are working your way there. <laughs> mm. Triple, triple loveliness.
Ah, Man City Street Art. Ow, oh, shouts to you. Firearms. Don't give them to idiots. Uh, that's all I can really say about them. <laughs> if you're going to have them, make sure you're safe with them. You know how to use them properly. You're not letting your kid fire off an M16 or some shit. And just don't give them to your stupid friends. Keep them locked away. Um, and don't be, and don't be the idiot that brings them to school. Easy as that. I love them, I can appreciate them, but at the same time, I appreciate the ones more from like the Wild West days, those six shot revolvers. Ugh, if I could find a li nice little ones to put on the wall, that'd be amazing. Uh, so yeah, I, don't know, I can appreciate the power, how they look, I, I love them, uh, I w I've shot them, I'm also, you know, not thinking I'm Joker and going to like shoot up a theater or going to a high school and shooting people up. So, I don't know. Don't give them to idiots. That's about it. And be safe with them. Uh, Martin's probably lost. Relationship advice. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, being the nice guy who could stick around or being the dick and getting some ass. This is a really easy one. This is really easy. Okay. Do you want to be the nice guy who sticks around to a point, because you can't be a punching bag, you gotta know, like, alright, enough is enough. You don't appreciate me? Fuck you, too. Or, do you want to be the dick that just gets ass? Yeah, like, as humans and everything, man or female, we have the lust and we have that sexual desire. But, if you're going for girls that would rather hook up with guys who are fucking douchebags or douche canoes, fuck them. Get better girls. <laughs> You gotta f stop fucking with girls. Find yourself a lady. That's what's up. <laughs> uh, Van City Street Art again. Oh, you slick bastard. <laughs> what about secret societies, conspiracies, and the Illuminati? Talked a bit about this on, I think, the live episode again. But anyway, uh, Illuminati, it's been blown out of proportion. People just like to tie a lot of things to it and everything. Uh... Or who knows, they are real and they could have been fucking with me cause, pulling episodes or something down. But uh, I've had people ask me because, you know, I have an owl tattoo. Hew, hew. <laughs> but uh, people have asked me about it and if, asked if I believe in the Illuminati and stuff. Um, no. Just chill. You know what I mean? Like, who if, it, if it's supposed to be a bunch of the richest people helping the richest people in the world, a lot of them are getting busted for shit, so maybe they should... Get better friends that help them. <laughs> uh, what about secret societies? A lot of those at the same time, it's secret, so you can only speculate about them. Uh, I think they've been blown out of proportion, a lot of them for sure. So, uh, I don't know, like, my dad was a Mason, I have friends that are Masons, and it's nothing like, you know, they've seen it, I've seen in documentaries or anything like that. I think some people just like to blow things out of proportion and uh, run with it. And I think if people do that, they need to get a little bit of a better fucking hobby. Because, well, you're going to freak some people out sometimes. And if you don't present it right, you're going to come off kind of crazy. And I'm sorry to say this, but like some people, if they don't present it right, you're going to come off unintelligent. I'm sorry. It does happen. But maybe what if conspiracy theories and all that were made to distract you guys from the truth? Think about that. Conspiracy theories are the conspiracy theories. And who are the conspiracy theorists? Bam. <laughs> Alright. 33 minutes. Holy shit, guys. <laughs> okay. I am out of here. Longest episode. I hope you guys sit through it or break it down as you go, whatever. Hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, next live episode is next Sunday, March 22nd, I believe, at 12.45 p.m. Eastern Time. And, uh, hope to see you guys there. Like, subscribe. I'm gonna have more music maybe coming out for you guys. And, uh, yeah.